Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing the IP configuration. Actually, I started the video and I didn't realize I didn't hit record. So now I look down to make sure it's recording. But um, this is continuing the journey on the Checkpoint Firewall series. So if you guys are enjoying it, please like, subscribe and share. If you're new, welcome. Hopefully you're you know starting from one going down. Just, you know, it's just so you can build out the lab with me. But if you just want to, you know, understand how to IP a network, jump in here. All right. So as you can see, I already started one, obviously, because I, uh, I forgot to hit record and I had to start over. So let's go ahead and log into our firewall here. Show you what I have going on. Okay, so if I do show interfaces, interface all, interfaces, okay, we can see that we have a few interfaces now, right? So interface ETH0 is our management interface. That's how we manage the firewall at 10.2.21.1. Okay, and then we have other, uh, other ones that are that are here as well that you can check in the CLI. But we're not gonna do all this in the CLI, we're gonna do this through the GUI, so let's go ahead and jump over to our Windows box. Okay, and if you remember, this is a topology that we're working with. So we have a firewall in the middle, we have ETH0, ETH2, ETH3 to go out to the internet. And yeah, so ETH1, let me bring this back over here. So ETH1 is gonna be all servers, like it shows in here. And the way you can do that, you can just click here to obtain that, you know, so you can unlock it. So when you click on ETH1, maybe you only have ETH0 at the moment if you're following along. So ETH1, you're gonna hit edit, make sure you enable it, and make sure you set up the networking behind the scenes. Let me check that, let me show you guys that because that's pretty critical. So, in the networking here, I created the networks behind the scenes, DMZ, servers, WAN, and I know the, the IPs down here are super small, you know, 192.168.22.0, and then 21.0. So make sure you create the NAT networks that are associated with the actual uh, interfaces, okay? Because that's super important. All right, so let's go ahead and hit OK here. That's fine. So e ETH0. What we're gonna do here is I mean, ETH2 is going to be 21. So let's go ahead and enable that. We're gonna make a comment for DMZ servers. Okay. And then we can go ahead and utilize 192.168.21.1 with a 24 bit mask. Okay and hit okay here, and now it's up, the link is up. And if it does say down or link unavailable, just make sure you you know, you know check your networking. Okay, the last one here is ETH0, or ETH3, man. I'm looking at zero and, I'm, and, and that's why I said it. So let's double click on here, we need to enable this. And this is gonna be our internet, right? So I wanna put WAN internet, internet, okay? In my case, it's going to be a slash 28, so it's going to be one nine uh, one seven two. This is what I made this one, 18.72.2. Okay, let me make sure I have all that right. Yep. So now it's going to be a slash 28, so how you write that out, 255.255.255.240. Okay. Oops. If I can... Okay. Here we go. Make sure you have it all like that. And that's up. And we have everything up and running. So let's see if I have everything good here. Okay. So this is all good, right? So let's go ahead and try to, for an example, ping 8.8.8.8, right? It's not. It's not going to ping because we don't have any default routes. We don't have DNS. So we can't even ping Google either there's nothing there. So let's go ahead and finish that up, okay? So next thing we're gonna do is come down to static routes. And remember, 
If you change your IP scheme, obviously just associate it with your IP scheme, how you have your WAN interface set up. So here we can click on edit. We can add a IP or an interface. I wanna go ahead and click an IP. And what I made in my IP is for my default route, 172.18.72.1. Okay, let's add that. Oh, hit okay. All right, so let's save that. We can see it's here, okay? So now let me make sure I have everything good. So now let's go ahead and see if we can ping Google. There we go. So now we can ping Google because now we have a default route out to the internet, okay? We can kill that. But now if we try to ping Google, before we ping Google's IP address, right? But now we need to ping Google's DNS. So how do we resolve DNS? We have to create a DNS server to resolve, right? So let me click the control to get out of here. And let's go back to the firewall. And let's go to go to host and DNS. And you can see DNS, primary DNS. So you can just do 8.8.8.8. Okay, apply. And you can put a secondary, a third one and all that stuff. But I hit apply. Let's come back here and see if that did the work. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Right. So now we can. Now we're good. So I think we should be able to, you know, we can go back here to the interfaces. So all of our interfaces are up. Our networking is up. Our IP addresses are good. This is how you initially start your firewall. Right now, at this point, any, you know, any kind of now, technically, like if we we're on here, we're on this. Let me see if I can ping out to Google. No, I, I don't. I think because I don't have a DNS server. Um, let me see if I can just test this. This is just a bonus. Uh, I'll have to check this offline. But let's see if I open up uh, no internet access. That's fine. Sorry, the mic's in my right in my way. So let me uh, go to control panel. Go to control panel, and uh, let's go to network and sharing center. I just want to see if we can get this bad boy on the internet. But if not, remember, this is all just labbing it up. Our, you guys who don't, don't have to finish watching the video, uh, this is uh, just for a bonus sake. So my default, okay, so let me see if I can throw in a DNS server and go ahead and apply, okay. See if we can get out to the internet. I don't think so because this is on a different network. But let's see. I'm just curious. All right, that's fine. We don't have to worry about that right now. But yeah, all of our networking is set up. We're good to go. We should be all golden. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And now your IP addresses are all set up on your network. Thank you so much for viewing and have an awesome day.